Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and I finally got my hands on the Moto G, which I just bought from a German retailer. It's actually only starting to be available on Thursday, but now it's Monday and they're actually already selling it since last Friday. Um, I think they're the only company in Germany that sells them already. But so this is the new cheap or well-priced quad-core smartphone from Motorola that just got announced shortly or recently, just a while ago. And yeah, let's unbox it. What's special about this is actually that Motorola sells this in other countries without a charger. So you have to get, have your own USB charger. This is actually the 8 gig model, as you can see right there. Um, and it says on the bo box back here that USB charging cable is included, but the wall charger is sold separately. What the German retailers do is they actually pack the device with a separate um, charger which you get in the package, it's in the price. Some retailers put it in the in the box that you order with online or in my case the company actually had every box opened and had their apprentices pack it back in here. And as you can see the box is not really made for this. Um, the box itself is, is very very small. It's not bigger than from whatever Nokia 105 or just a normal um, phone you would get. And let's open it up, take a quick look. This is the Motorola G itself. I'm going to put this to the side for a second now. And let's dive into the package. We have a bunch of paper in here. So this is like the first steps. It's just a quick guide that shows you how to set up the device, put in the SIM card and change the back cover. Another piece of paper that tells you how to remove the back cover. And the safety instructions, all German. Yeah, and what you normally get is just this white micro USB cable, which is kind of weird because they have a black phone, right? Why would you put in a white cable? But it doesn't really matter. Um, and as I said, the uh, distributor in Germany actually delivers the device to the retailers, including this uh, non-standard uh, third-party charger. So as I said, the retailer, what they did is open it up, throw it in there. So you're always getting a charger in Germany. Um, but in other countries it, might, it might, might not be included, so I've heard about people in Great Britain receiving the device without a charger, which is actually what Motorola is going to be selling this device like in the rest of the world. Um, this one has just one amp, and it is from a company called Accessories for All. It's a compact charger, just a single USB port, and that's basically it. All right, so that's the Motorola G unboxed. And let's take a quick look around. Let me just first remove this cover foil right here. And as I said in the other videos, and you might already heard about it, right? It's a 4.5 inch 720p screen, which is really bright and nice. Um, let's try and turn this on. Uh, it won't turn on. So there is actually a notification LED in there that lights up telling me right now that there's no battery life left. Um, but let's take a quick look around. We have a 1.3 megapixel camera up here. The speakers right right next to that. Light sensors and distance sensors right next to that. On top we have the headset jack and the noise cancellation mic. On the right side we have the power switch and the volume rocker. On the back there's a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash. It's got this removable, removable cover with this matte coating on there that actually draws a couple of fingerprints. Motorola says on the package actually that it's water repellent. Micro USB port down here and the mic. Yeah, that's basically it. So this is the Motorola G unboxed. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later. Hey, just a little something I want to add. Um, I got the Motorola G set up already and we had a couple of questions from our viewers and readers if the device is actually supporting USB OTG and I can tell you yes it does and that's what we're gonna try out right now I got this adapter right here and my ASUS USB stick and I'm just gonna stuff that back in here and there it already shows up the light goes on down there and yes I wanna access the whole thing open OTG Disk Explorer and there you go so that's the stuff that's actually on the USB stick right there. So USB OTG on the Moto G definitely works. Well, thank you.